This battle is about to explode. Fight! Fight. Right. Live and direct. Live and direct. Coming live. Coming live. From. Damn, this is, this is, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. nervous about I'm what? shaking. It's just a normal conversation, right? Yeah. It's just a casual over podcast, damn it. Ooh. You want an intro? I yeah. have no idea. What, oh. I can do it if you want. I can think off the top of my off the top of the dome. Alright. Uh, Alright, I got it. Hello, party people. What's Greetings up? and salutations, party people. Welcome. Welcome. To the new the new and new and improved. New and improved word around the couch. Y'all thought it was a new show. Guess what? It still is. Except right back, like we're going in that. podcast form. We're cashing on the hype. You know how many podcasts are out there? There's too many. I know, right? Some of them are like, uh, okay, that makes sense. But some of them are just like, but I guess everyone wants to speak their mind. We all got opinions. We all like this long format. You don't have to edit nothing. You just got to listen. You listen and talk. It's a normal conversation. This See, this is what this is how a normal conversation with us goes. Yo, what's up, Mark? Hey, what, what, are you saying? what are you saying, dog? I'm chilling, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eh? Nah, yeah. no one talks like that here. I don't talk like that. Sorry, don't ignore that. But anyways, uh, this is got? where this we is where here? we're gonna be breaking down the news, talking about some stuff related to, Us. I guess, sneakers and style. But also, we're going off the wall. Yes, because we're 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 into the culture. Oh God, it's I all about the culture. Can't stand that word. What, what about baby culture? <laughs> like, like Offset Kid. <laughs> it's whatever. Nah, yo, I'm down they, with it. They get a pass. Yeah, it's Cardi B. She like the queen. She's of... the biggest artist in the world. Damn, that's fact. Not bigger than Ariana Grande. No, <laughs> but she's one of the biggest ones. Nobody's bigger right than Ariana Grande. Dog, did you see that? Uh, the Filipino kids. Yo, I did. Met Ariana Grande. <laughs> yo, shout Here's out to that kid. I did exactly thing. the same. TNT boys, right? That's the name. Yes. Um, the little one, the one that was that like thing. Here's the thing, yo. Which one? You broke the first rule of showbiz, bro. You can't stop. You did. You can't stop. The, the long hair? Yeah. No, the the um the, one the that chubbier loves. one. Yeah. The one who lost it. Yeah. You broke the first rule, man. That's the bad Yo, one. they all did, though. Yeah. But, like, they were quick enough. I think the other two were quick enough to, like, just get back on it. And, like, yo. They realized that she was singing with them. So, yeah. like, you know, you gotta take advantage of the opportunity. Whatever you're... Like, sure, you can meet Ariana Grande if you're just a fan. But yeah. when do you get to sing with Ariana Grande? Never. Never. Shouts to Ariana Grande. We, we, I name dropped her, like, 20 times. Yeah. Come on the show. <laughs> Come on the show, Ariana Grande, please. Send us tickets to your yeah, show. Yeah, we're Filipino like the TNT. <laughs> Facts. My boy Aaron here would love to sing along with you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be singing... Uh... <laughs> Let me say... Break up with their girlfriend. Damn. You're bored? Yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's the intro to the show. I guess we're just going to bring topics to the table. Uh, maybe guests will come later on. Yeah. As soon as we figure things out and finalize the details. But for now, it's just us two having a normal conversation with the bros. Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. Do they say that Toronto stuff? I have no idea. I still say it. But Damn. That's me. You're a real Toronto. You're a real road man. <laughs> Shout out to my London boys. <laughs> Shout out to UK fans. Do you have any UK stand up? <laughs> I feel like a radio <laughs> DJ, dog. But uh, my Ebro right now. <laughs> Yo, I I'm I'm, I'm kind of losing points on Ebro, man. He just hates on all the new stuff. The like old, I get that he's a head. I get he's an old head, but like, or maybe that's just nah, like, he loves Ariana Grande though. <laughs> maybe that's just like <laughs> smart marketing, right? Yeah, because like. Well, you want to be like DJ Envy and Charlemagne the God and Why? Angela Yee? They just freaking... Nah, I like chill. them. The yeah, Breakfast I do Club? too. I do too. Breakfast Club is chill. Uh, Charlemagne, come on, let's show. Alright, uh, so I guess <laughs> so we'll let's, start this. We'll start this. Uh, word around the couch is... Um, Hold on, what are we doing it? I forgot. Zion. Alright, so... A couple days. Or, uh, literally yesterday... There is a big game in the NCAA. We have Zion, Zion's school, Duke, playing Shots against to, to Zion. Uh, Coach, oh no, Coach Cal Perry at UK, Kentucky. Yeah. Eight no. seconds into the what game. Was it? Oh no, it was North Duke Carolina. North Carolina. My bad. Uh, what's his Coach name? Coach K. No. No, uh, Roy Williams. 
okay, I don't know. We're, we're not college hoop fans. All right, so eight seconds into the game. Zion Williamson uh, looks like he was going to do a dribble handoff. And then Just he breaks <laughs> on a dime. and He, he hulk his, a, he it. His foot busts through his shoe. And he suffered what looked like a very scary injury. But he was able to walk yeah. afterwards. Yeah, and, and MRIs and reports came. It was just a ankle sprain or knee sprain, knee sorry. Sprain. He'll be back. Yeah, day to day. And uh, I guess it sort of brings up the question that, I guess, no, after this. What is your um, question? The MBPA, the Players Association or whatever. Okay. Um, they filed their uh, plea. Plane. Yeah, their plea to end the one and done rule. To have kids be able to go straight into the league. Now, obviously, there's uh, pros and cons with it. Yeah. Uh, pros being, you know, you get get a chance to get earn money right away. Yeah. And uh, I guess sort of don't run Career. the risk of this happening. Yeah. Like, if it was a really serious injury, it would look terrible on the NCAA. You they're really pretty lucky. Life. Yeah, they're pretty lucky. Because that... Cause from what it looked like, it looked like an ACL, like a tear or, or some. It looked really bad. It did. It looked bad, but it didn't look but, terrible. But when he when he got up, it looked all right. Yeah. yeah. So, but I'm just saying from like first glance, it looked that if it was a career ending injury, the NCAA you wouldn't hear the you wouldn't hear the end of it. Yo, his family would be getting paid by the NCAA yeah, every single year. You wouldn't year hear then. the end of it. Like the number one pros, one of the number one prospects. Box office going down. <sighs> Put seats in, put butts in those seats. Yeah, and I guess the NCAA is, is uh, catching flack because they're getting paid off of the, off these kids. Yeah. Without them getting their share, they get a platform. That's yeah. the only thing they get. Yeah, there's a lot. There's I think there's a lot of pros and cons. Pros uh, of cons being let's just play devil's advocate because I do lean on the side of them being allowed to go. They go to school, school for free. Yeah, that's one of the things I was going to say. Go to school for free. Yeah, Let them get a backup plan, yeah. In case... Because not everybody can make leagues. There's only 400 yeah. NBA spots. So, it's I mean... The, the yeah, the, ch the chances of you having a long-lasting career... Pretty uh, slim. It's pretty slim. You gotta be special. Yeah. So, but we also do understand this other side of things where it's like, you know, these kids want to get paid, bro. Some of them are ready, some of them yeah. aren't. And that's kind of where, I guess, the the needle falls for me. It's like, at the end of the day, we hate to say it, people just play ball because they love ball. Yeah. But it's a job. And when, you, when, you, when you're taking it like that, it's a job, right? So, people got to make their money. People got to get their money. Where do you lean on? I don't know. To go back to the, the one and done rule, rule, I'm kind of fine with the one and done rule. Because then... I don't know. When you play in the NBA, you're not really ready. Yeah. Per se, because you're not as strong. You're not as. Yeah. Straight. Uh, basically. Yeah, basically taking away the one and done rule means they can come in at 18. But I remember seeing something online a few days ago, and it seems like they lowered the age of what they can be when they enter the league. So. And the G League already started the thing where you could, like, join. Go, yeah, go straight rather than go to college. Yeah, and then you could still get drafted into the league without, I don't know, being... No, I think when you enter the G League, you don't have to get drafted. They could just sign you. Oh, really? I think. I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me. Don't but it's not like a two-way deal thing yeah. that some players you do. You start getting paid. Yeah. Which is... It is it is a good thing. You, it's right? not as much as, like, a, you're not getting paid, like, a million dollars, which is, like, the... Yeah. Now, for me, I'm always on the side of, this is capitalism, baby. Basically. If you can get your money, go get your money. But I think if they do that, people can't have it both ways. You can't get mad at the NBA when a kid goes into the league when he's 18. Not ready. Not ready. He gets injured and the He'll same thing happens. the league yeah, in like the same thing happens. Years. Like People can't get mad about that. So then... It may, I guess it makes the league more cutthroat. It's like, yo, are you ready? If not, you should have won the NCAA. And if you if you didn't, you're probably playing like overseas or yeah somewhere to get ready. And then Basically. if you get stuck there, then who knows if you can? Never... You gotta make the best out of your situation. Yeah, who knows? Who knows if you get ready to the league? Because there's plenty of leagues in the world where you could play, but 
the NBA is the that's where the elite money is the at. Elite. Yeah. So um, at the end of the day, I say let's get rid of it. Have the, have the kids. Have the kids going when they're ready. Because there's some kids like... This has already happened before. Let's talk about last year. Michael Porter Jr. He if got he did, hurt. If he doesn't get injured, he was projected number one. Yeah. Let's just say that. I'm. Uh, and there's also been, I guess, history of people who did come straight out of high school. Yeah. T-Mac. Uh, Amir Johnson has a long career. Udonis Haslam is about to retire. One LeBron. Shout out to Udonis Haslam. LeBron. Kwame and Brown. It comes down to the quality of the player. I feel like Zion is, was one of those where really he could have just transcend. Yeah, he's gonna make that leap. He's yeah. gonna adjust pretty quickly. Yeah, I think him like RJ and uh, sorry, I forgot your name. The one from Murray State, I John Morant or something like that. Jay Morant. Jay Morant. Those kids seem like they're ready to go straight into the league, and there are also some kids that just need the. They need time to develop. Yeah, because. The ones who are not like transcending talents, like a uh, who was it, like a JJ Redick who yes. took four, four years, years at Duke and you know took a while to develop and then eventually found his way into the league. Yeah, I think just give the kids a choice and you know we we got to be less critical about it. Yeah, in my opinion, just like you know, if a kid decides to join the league and he doesn't make it. I mean, don't blame the NBA for that. It was his choice. Yeah. And, you know, don't blame, don't blame, you know, his parents for, like, not stopping or whatever. It's his choice. They're 18, right? They can start making decisions. They're adults. Yeah. So, you know, that's just where I stand. Uh, anything else to add? I don't know. Going back to the shoe. <laughs> oh, What do yeah. you think about that? <laughs> Hold on. I said I wasn't going to leave. And I was going to get my phone. All right. So, in that game, the way that Zion... Basically, uh, I guess hurt his knee. His foot basically busted through his shoe. All the seams broke, and this leaves a question to Nike about the quality of the shoes. Like currently in the NCAA, it is a pretty widely used shoe by most players, even in the NBA. Yes. Even by Paul George, like Paul George went to Nike and asked them, like, "What's happening here?" Like. It looks bad on him because it's his shoe with his name. He's endorsing it and stuff like that. So it's like, is there something wrong or? Yeah, but let's let's. I'm gonna play devil's advocate again. Let's say we we're putting all our marbles into letting the kids make their own decision. Zion Williamson's already like two eighty, two sixty. He's a big boy. Two sixty six eight. He's already bigger than PG. Yeah. So. Um, when I, let's think, I'm thinking capitalism, let's be capitalist for a second. If this is a place where, uh, if there's money to get, go get your money. If you're an athlete, your body is your tool, right? Yeah. So it's on you to maintain that. Like, let's look at LeBron. This is like his first major injury since like he broke his nose. And that's like two injuries in his career. Yeah. So ever since he entered the league, he's been taking care of his body. Now, obviously, some people are not making the same bag as LeBron. Yeah. But if you're going to be a professional athlete, that's something you should think about, I think. Eventually. But then. If, especially if you want a long-lasting career. Because like, all it takes is one injury, right? We've seen so many careers just end with... Knees. ACL, sprain, something like that. Obviously, that's some of them are just free. Can't really control that stuff. Yeah. It just happens. You got to control what you can control. And if you can... It's like investing in tools. You want to get better tools. You want to invest in your body. Make you it want cheap tools that will get the job better. done right away. Or no, we're not. We're not bashing the PG two point five. Chill out. It's a great shoe. I'm sure. It's, yeah. We like it for budget. You know. Solid it's a shoe. good good team shoe too. But obviously that shoe might not be meant for Zion. Probably like, not. Maybe you see him hooping like more like a LeBron, or something. maybe he's more. He likes. Something know. a bit more stable, st- more sturdy, durable. Yeah, just our two cents. But at the end of the day, if he if he felt comfortable playing in it, it never broke before until that day. Yeah. So dude, we can't really say anything about that. Um, but yeah, shout out to Nike. Yeah, I heard they lost one point one billion shares worth of shares after that. That's <laughs> a lot. But I feel like 
Uh, when Zion decides on what shoe company, he, it won't be Nike. It could be. It could still be Nike, but you, is you're this gonna, guy gonna get his own shoe, or is he gonna? You're gonna feel switch the, to something else. <laughs> you're gonna feel the attacks from all the brand. Oh, look what happened! And yeah, you dude. gotta make sure that doesn't happen again. Yeah. Or else. <laughs> but at the end of the day, if Nike if Nike loses him, let's say if he enters the league and uh, signs signs a sneaker deal with someone else. Does that really matter? They still have LeBron. <laughs> still got PG, Kyrie. Yeah. I don't know who's next up, though. That's true. Giannis? Yeah. Giannis oh, still signed. yeah. I guess he has to wait for the Giannis shoe first before Zion can get his own shoe. I don't... Does he... Is he a rookie that gets his own... Nah. <laughs> nah? What rookie gets his own shoe? Yeah. Donovan Mitchell waited a year. Even LeBron uh, waited a year. Damn. Technically. LeBron waited a year te- technically. Yeah. I don't know about Dame. I guess a year. Yeah. Um, Steph, I, have one, shoot, I have one more question. I don't know Steph got bare shoes. No, but he was signed with Nike. Yeah, though. he was in Nike yeah. and then he moved. So <laughs> does that count? Even, nah. even with Under Armour, he didn't get his own shoe. He had the... Yeah, they had the speed. Clutch Fit Drive. Oh, yeah, Clutch. Ah, that yeah. shoe was lit. That shoe I was pretty it. good. That shoe was pretty good. Uh, shoot, I have one more question. Um... <laughs> Up, freak! It was on the top of my head. Uh, Nike basketball. Yeah, start throwing words out. Let me try to remember. I'm gonna give myself five sec, uh, ten seconds. Uh, Zion, dude. <laughs> Zion. Adidas. Uh, Puma. Bring. Money. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, Three. Right. Maybe two. it'll. Maybe it'll come back. We'll just move on. Damn it. We're on the couch. Uh, so, HBO is releasing a documentary series about Michael Jackson, about his time in, or these children's time in Neverland. Yes. So it's called Escaping, or Leaving Neverland. So, I don't know what year this came, what, when this happened, but early 2000s, or maybe the 90s, probably the 90s. Uh, Michael Jackson would invite kids and their families to his uh, Neverland ranch. Shots uh, to Neverland. Peter Pan. So these kids were invited into his house. Uh, sometimes the parents would just leave them there, which is kind of... <laughs> I mean, that's at the weird. time. At the time. Nah, yo, at hindsight, yeah. that's kind of weird. Yeah. Like, why would you leave your <laughs> I don't care how much money you got. With a celebrity. You're like, yeah. you're trusting the celebrity to be... Like, honest, I guess. Maybe they were like, yo, if they, if you ever do something to my kid, I'm suing you. I guess, but is and, that worth the risk yeah. of your child, something bad happening to your child? But yeah, so it documents a couple children that survived uh, these uh, things that... Events. Like, events that Michael Jackson... Uh, put them through, I guess. Put them through. Yeah, that sounds like good to me. basically just documents their... How they feel, what was going on, and what's happening right now. How it affected them, I guess. Yeah, so it's releasing in March 2nd and 3rd. It's a two-part series on HBO. Cash in. The trailer just came out. And it looks, they're making it dramatic, yo. It's got all the drone shots. I thought they closed down Neverland. I think it sold to someone. What, wasn't it part of his house? Yeah. It's so basically like a. So basically, who bought the house? It's a whole ranch, so it's like yeah. a huge space so that. Whoever they could, bought the house got Neverland. Shouts to Peter Pan. This it's kind of a touchy subject because yeah, he Michael Jackson died like ten years ago. It's been a minute. And yes, this happened in his life, and it seemed like we all just forgot about it. Yeah. Or we didn't want to think about it because. It was so long ago, yeah, and he and, died, yeah, and, and people want to just remember the good things. This is kind of the same thing with R. Kelly. Like, yeah, this stuff happened. Well, the thing about R. Kelly, though, he's still alive. Yeah, he gets he could, to. He has to defend himself. Yeah, well, I, yeah, he gets a chance to. I'm not saying it. Yeah, right? but like when you do it on, he a gets to explain sort of his side of the story, whatever his side of the story. Yeah. But with this, what are you gonna do? Rising from the dead, thriller style? Yeah, I don't know about all that. Uh, but it is interesting because we did pass like all that time now that it, it, since yeah. he passed away that like all right 
time to start <laughs> time to start like seeing what really happened people yeah. love the thing is it's gonna this is gonna make a lot of money because people are always interested in scandals and yeah all that and all, it's michael jackson yeah we want to hear the real mike we want the real michael yeah not the not the old michael so it's fresh out the gold michael <laughs> but i mean HBO, are you gonna check this out though uh i don't really mess with documentaries personally. really to be honest, I don't really care about Michael Jackson. Damn, yo. I mean, obviously, King of Pop, you know, there's no doubt in that. And like, you know, But I'm one of those that, like, I'm all about the artist as the artist. not. So you want to separate the two? Yeah. Whatever you do. Are you doing that with R. Kelly, though? I don't, I don't care about R. Kelly. Even his music, I don't care about R. Kelly. Damn, okay. So, let's just... Oh, but let's bring up another example. Uh, What the... I had it on the top of my head again. <laughs> yeah, I'm forgetting everything. Uh, Kanye. Oh. I'm separating the artist Kanye from the, from the politician Kanye. Like, okay. Sure, he has his views on politics or whatever, but at the end of the day, people will still want to buy product. Yeah. Everyone still wants product. If the product is good, they're going to spend their money on it, regardless of Kanye's stance Yeah. On certain things. Just say it. Just my two cents. What about you? I don't know. These topics are kind of different. Like yeah. the, I get it. I get what you mean. Because yeah. I love Kanye. Because the Kanye's, music was crazy. Where, where Kanye stands. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Not going to lie. <laughs> That's facts. That's facts. Uh, all his projects were really good. And just hearing him like talk all this nonsense about Supporting politics Trump and all this not That, yeah, politics and shit. This is going like... He took the conversation... Like, it hurts. Yeah. Like... And then I guess seeing this about Michael Jackson, it kind of does hurt just to see like what he did yeah. to these kids, and because they're so young and they it's, have it's, no control. It's, it's over unforgivable. It. Yeah. yeah. No matter how you look at it, it's unforgivable if it really happened. Yeah. We weren't there. <laughs> but I mean, I guess people. The problem with this is that when when they when like the person passes away, all we can do is say that whatever we're being told is the truth or yeah. it's not the truth. There's no one there to be like... There's no one else there to stir the pot anymore. Like, he can't defend himself. Yeah. I guess other people can, but like... Because he was the only one there. Yeah. And it was just the children, so it was We only side. get the children's side of the story. Like, at least with... A, let's just take it back to R. Kelly. He can... He can talk. Yeah, but he lied all day. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know... So much. It's looking bad for your boy. I'll be checking this out. That's... Yeah. It seems pretty interesting. It is. I know it's gonna hurt. <laughs> just to see, like... What Michael Jackson did to these kids. And who knows? Maybe maybe this trailer is just all bad. And then they're just doing it for the, you know, to get people on it first. Yeah. And then when the movie actually comes out, it's not too bad. Like, they don't kill him. Even though... They don't kill his character. Yeah. They don't kill the the embodiment. Like... The, the person that is Michael Jackson. Yeah. But, uh, shout-outs to, uh... What's the, what's the best Michael Jackson song? Uh, Man in the Mirror. Ooh, that's a good one. Ah, uh, I'm messing with, uh... Smooth Criminal. Yeah, I'm gonna see yeah. One of those two signs, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, uh, make sure you check it out. Uh, let us know what you think. Speak to us in the comment section when it comes... When is it coming out? March 2nd and 3rd. March 2nd. That's pretty close. Yeah, it is. They, they just dropped the trailer? That's pretty weird. Yeah, there's probably gonna be another trailer I, coming I'm surprised out. they didn't, like, blow it up to be, like, some massive full-length feature. <laughs> well, they announced it a few, like, last month or something. And they're smart. Ago. They split it to two parts. Yeah, you gotta get people <laughs> to watch it. Yeah, smart. You gotta leave them on the cliffhanger in the first half. They're like, oh, suddenly man. a new a new child appears. <laughs> probably, man. <laughs> I mean, hey. Uh, rest in peace, King of Pop. Yeah. Put some respect on the name, even though if this document kills them, put some respect on the name. Yeah. He's the greatest entertainer of all time. Michael Jackson. All right, so next up, we have... We're around the couch. Ariana Grande. Boom! Your girl! My boo. High ponytail. High ponytail gang. Uh, So she won her first Grammy, but she was not there to <laughs> accept her award. Yeah, I heard the story. I heard the story about that. Is that what we were talking about? Or no, we, which well, way are we going? Most important. Well, well, let's break it down, what the story was, because I think that's pretty important, too. What was the main story? 
Wasn't it like she didn't want to go because she because she wanted to perform Seven Rings or something? Oh yeah, so uh, the producer or director of the Grammys, uh, they had different views or decisions of what song she wanted to perform. Yeah, and they just couldn't come to a decision, and that ended up with Ariana Grande not attending the Grammys and not performing at all. Which is weird because like, here's my thing. I thought the Grammys were so political that. If you didn't do that, yo, you're not winning this Grammy. I thought that's how it went. Really? Nah, it gets decided by like a, a group a of con- people. collective. But, but like, let's say a group of those people are like investors in freaking the Grammys. Oh. And say and they and she's like, oh, I don't want to perform at the Grammys. You know, let me perform. I'm out of here. I feel like it's decided beforehand though. Yeah, maybe. And then the performances come like <laughs> like a month before or something. I don't know. Yeah, but we we don't we don't know the inner workings, but. To it, get down to the meat of it. It's a sticky situation because she did drop Sweener like six months ago. Yeah. And that was up for the Grammy. And then she and then just she, dropped her, Thank her You late, Next. Yeah. Which had straight bangers. Yeah. Arguably be- back. probably better. I, mean, I don't know. Haven't heard Thank You Next yet. Your boy's slacking. Uh, I went back to Sweener just to see how... It, just how to remember what it what? sounded like. Because <laughs> Thank You Next was uh, just on repeat. Yeah. And I do like Sweetener a lot. But not bad. The they, third song, like I like the Pharrell production. Always love Pharrell. But then, uh, okay. Uh, so where is it going? Oh, there's like the third song with Nicki Minaj. Yeah. And just Nicki Minaj just puts me off. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm not listening to this song, and I I'm too so lazy to just switch next. Uh, yeah. Qu- question: Does Thank You Next have any features? Um. Does it? Shoot, you listen to it. Damn, man. man. Uh, hit up, hit you up, put hit me up on spot. spot. My, my bad, my bad, my bad. My uh, bad. But I'll fill the I'll fill the time with um No features. No features. So that's pretty important. Because But she held her own. Yeah, because it's a straight up Ariana Grande, no none no, of this No rapping. Yeah. No, no rappers on none there. of this I'm putting you in the feature, so that means you gotta be in the music video or whatever. Yeah. None of this. It's all straight Ari. And apparently it's better according to your boy. I don't know. Uh, no song is skippable. Damn. It's a straight it's, 41 it's, minutes it's, a, of... it's an instant classic? Best, Yo, uh, best project, yeah? This year, yes. Best project. Uh, 41 minutes is a good uh, length? length. Yeah. Because you get, you get to listen to all those tracks. Um... I just, oh, I'm just love this song. <laughs> I just love your this boy's album. a fanboy, yo. Can't Aaron wait to Aaron see Aaron your Aaron concert. Come on the show. Damn, <laughs> what's it called? Thank you next. Thank one, you right? next. Yeah. Okay. I like the album cover too. Like yeah. they're both, they both have her upside down, in Sweetener and in Thank You Next. Like I don't know why, but they just do. She's turning the music industry on their heads. Yeah. Which she is. So that's what I want to talk about. Let's talk about this Billboard thing. I, or Grammys. No, nah, gr- or Billboard. Does anyone care about the Grammys? Nah, Grimes are trash. Yeah, I don't care about that. Are they you, always get it are wrong. You, are you stupid? Are you dumb? Why does Eminem always get these <laughs> rap albums of the year? <laughs> Yo, Yo em- no shade, but... <laughs> no cap, but Eminem. Those are all questionable. Eminem, come on the show and explain that album. <laughs> Which album? What What did you win? Recovery win? one, uh, LP2 one, uh, a bunch of other nonsense one over... The music industry needs to hop off Eminem's piece. Facts. We're kind of. I'm. 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 What was the last album? Kamikaze. I was. That was the one never, with Rihanna. Huh? That was the one with uh Rihanna. What's no, the one that just came out. The oh one with, uh, yeah. He's just like making fun of all these kids. Rappers. Yeah. All the other rappers. All the rappers. My bad. All the young kids. But yeah, I'm like. Is this necessary? You're... You know, we don't want you old Eminem. You don't see Jay Z clowning all the time. Yeah, there's no need. I mean, he is he is bit he is known for like, sorry, being a uh, like for clowning dissonant. on yeah. people. But that was old Eminem. Yeah, he's he's grown, he's mature. He got to educate these kids, not bring them down. Yeah, I'm sorry, Em. I didn't even want to listen to your project. Uh, it wasn't that good, anyways. <laughs> really, you listened yeah. to it? Uh, what was the the one with um, the one that was too bulk revival? Revival. Yeah, that, that was song that was his album? full length album. His full length album. They came in like. 2016 it was, the, it was terrible no no songs made it to the playlist last album <laughs> I listened to by Eminem was Marshall Mathers LP2 
which one is that one? And that one had uh Wait, you didn't listen to Recovery? Track. Nah. Recovery has the one with Rihanna. That one's the one with Rihanna. Yeah, I did not listen to that. Love the way you lie. <laughs> did not listen to that. And it has Space Bound. I know the singles off that album. I yeah. just did not listen it's to so that It's so weird, album. right? Because we, we're, we're dissing Eminem now. Freaking dissing people. But then when he comes out with his pop uh, songs, <laughs> it's trash. Yo, those songs were good. Don't just get me not, wrong. Just not us. Uh, yeah. I miss the old Eminem. Yo, Love the Way Lie was... Super overplayed. Fresh out the gold Eminem. <laughs> but billboards. Back to uh, Ariana Back Grande. to Eminem. Um, billboards. Top three. Top three album or? No, what? billboards. Top three, right? One, spot number one, spot number two, spot number three. For which? Ariana Grande. Which songs? Or? Oh, shoot. You got me on that one. It was thank probably you, Thank next, You Next. Seven Rings. Probably Imagine. Or no, it had to be break up with your oh, you, probably. with their so yeah. Um, girlfriend. if y'all didn't check, she she like screenshot everywhere. <laughs> follow yeah. Ariana Grande and then follow me at Marky McFly and at Aaron Chris and at Couch Couch Warm. You don't but, got to because <laughs> don't. <I. talk>. Um, <laughs> I'm not, so I'm gonna hold my tongue. She's um, her three songs are top three on a Billboard Hot 100. They're really good songs. They're, yeah, they're all back so, to back to back. Here's here's what I want to talk about. For Ariana Grande, here's what's interesting, because I haven't listened to the album yet. Your boy's lacking. Sleep. Sweetener was pretty cool, I, but apparently this is El Fuego, so... Uh, it's more poppy, in my opinion. Okay. So... That's that's what I was talking about. So she is... It's weird, because she's become a pop artist that is on a release schedule of a rap artist, in my opinion. How? Right? Let's cause because this album what, dropped six months after. What pop artist is doing that? Six six months after? I Bru- guess she was just in the mood. Give it a year, give it two years. Even like let's say Bruno Mars. Just as probably just as big as Ariana Grande, to be honest. Yeah. He's he hasn't released an album since twenty four Karen. Yeah. And it's been like what, four years? Five four years? years? It's been a minute, bro. Three, four years. Finesse remix came out in like twenty sixteen. Yeah. So it's been four years. Now Ariana Grande is like, F that, I'm going to go ahead and drop this project six months after, not let these Grammy people choose <laughs> choose the right album because apparently they chose the wrong album. It was hard because uh, you have to like submit an album yeah. before they start like voting on it. And then Thank You Next came out like super, like a month not, before yeah, the, Grammys, the yeah. Grammys. So And she was like... F that, bro. If I, if y'all want me there, I'm performing my latest. Yeah. So Which, that's I don't why they're mad. I I I'm I'm very interested in uh, Ariana Grande's thinking right now because, uh, like, on, I guess pop stars want to maximize their profits. Yeah. And to maximize and their tours. profits, go on tour. You wait until you uh, until all the money from the last project yeah. is all. It's usually like a two-year yeah. thing, and then you drop your next project, which is because the thing with the thing with rap is that it pr- gets gets produced so quickly that you gotta every week the there's n- there's a new project every every day. Probably. Drip too hard too. <laughs> every like every week there's like two new albums out. Yeah, it's hard to keep to. up. It's hard to keep up, and Ariana Ariana Grande the, the, the way she dropped it right the singles it was Thank You Next and then it was. Seven Rings, like, a month after? Two months? Yeah. No, two weeks after? Three weeks after? And then it was Imagine, and then it was Breakover. I don't, I don't know the, I don't know how the discography goes, but or the release yeah. schedule. But it's pretty interesting that she, as a pop star, because for those singers out there, they usually take high, high mastering, high mixing, high yeah. production, whereas a rap album, not this is a rap or anything, but they, <laughs> they get up, they buy a beat off someone. They add just, some samples or some instruments, rap over it, and the project is done. Like, the longest part is probably like clearing samples. And yeah. So I'm 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 interested. In Ariana Grande, follow me. All right. So what I uh, a few days ago I watched like a interview of her and her friends uh, on I forgot the guy's name, something Peter Sang or something. Okay. And shouts to Peter Sang. That might be his name, Come but on, uh, <laughs> uh, he's like a radio host yeah. and. He interviewed them, and she basically said that they wrote Thank You Next 
the whole album in like a two week period. Yeah. So that's kind of crazy that you get all these songs, all these bangers, basically. Yeah. You see and, like these singers like take me like months to perfect like a hook or whatever. But uh, she did have like a tra- traumatic experience yeah. like, with the the R.I.P. The bombing, the bombing Mac thing, and Mac Miller and Mac Miller dying. Her the breaking Pete Davidson up. saga. So she's been through a lot, and I guess she, she had, had enough, a lot yeah, inspiration inst- to write new songs that she wants the world to see. Yeah, it, to which hear. is I guess that is fresh, and I'm yeah. I'm happy about that because I'm tired of rappers talking about how much more money they make than me. I need more money, and how much? Yeah, money. and how much? How I much nicer their ice. how much nicer their car is? My like the, my watch is bust down. The bezel and the rolly <laughs> and whatever else they have. Um, but yeah, but. Well, let's just go off. Thank you, Ned, because that's all I, I let's do the song. Yeah, it's pretty upbeat. It's in a good direction. She she won Female of the Year, right, or Woman of the Year for Time Magazine, I think. One of the, one of probably because yeah, she had a big year last year. I wonder how many girls are wearing high ponytails right now. <laughs> Yo, that video for break up with your girlfriend? Never seen it. It's a high, great video. Where your high pony? What was the Ariana Grande you need fit? The right? choker. Yeah, the high pony, the and... oversized crew neck, and the thigh high boots. Yeah, <laughs> that's all you. That's need. a uniform. That are heels. <laughs> Which are you a fan of the thigh high boots with heels? Yeah. No, I don't like the heels. The heels throw me off. Why? Uh, even even boots. I don't like boots. Give me thigh high socks, bro. I'm about that. I guess we got different tastes. Yeah, you you like the high ponies. Okay. <laughs> I your hair is way her hair is way too long, bro. When I saw the TNT thing, and she was saying like, oh, "Bro, yeah. it's like man, it's like taller than the kids, bro." She's just stroking your hair. <laughs> her hair is longer than those kids. Pause. <laughs> those kids are like twelve years old, though. Yeah, shout out to TNT boys. Come on the show. <laughs> yo, where'd they come from? Why do you see me, bro? I'm not into. I'm not cultured, yo. That was the first time I've heard about them when okay, I watched that. So here's here's, here's what because my sister and my mom know about it. So here's what they told me. Is that they won? Oh, they're both. Two of the three of them are champions on some Filipino singing show. I forgot what it was called. Okay. The next big talent or some, uh, All right, something. Something like that. So then they one directioned it. No, one came in first. One came in second. Then they one directioned it and Put created a group. And Boom! Then there and you then go. They became YouTube sensations doing covers. Question covers, mark. I guess. I don't know. I haven't heard anything else from them. But uh, what a treat, right? You get to sing Ariana Grande. You're, first of all, you get flown out to America. So yeah. you're, you're going to your audience. That's that's huge. And then you get to meet Ariana Grande and sing with her. Yeah. That boy was crying, bro. I would be exactly yeah? the same. I would just stop. <laughs> I'd be like... <laughs> you can't stop, man. That's the first rule of Sorry, show business. I'm not... I need training. Guys, Ariana Grande is just a human being. She is. <laughs> you don't need to praise her. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, shout-outs to her for cleaning up shop, being the most powerful woman in music, music. right now. I can't think of it. Even Biggest. Cardi B is not... It's, like, not even close, I think. Cardi B is still pretty big. Once once she dropped Thank You Next, <laughs> she, she, she leapfrogged everyone. <laughs> yeah. She leapfrogged Nicki and Cardi B and just put herself up there. She's like, at that... <laughs> Um, Ariana Grande, man, I'm I'm excited for whenever the next project comes out. Or she's probably gonna take a break, or she's gonna finish the tour, right? She's going on tour. It's uh, the sweet worldwide. Thank you, next tour. I have no idea, but yeah, it's in Toronto. It's going around the North America. Probably gonna have it'll, a year it'll, yeah, tour. It'll probably end up being worldwide. Yeah, she she she's counting the bags, and you know, see, hey, rappers, take notes. She's making a bag, and she's not talking about it. Yeah, she's like, who else did that? I would say Bruno Mars flex. I yeah. <laughs> but then again, it's so... The power of the radio just makes everything like not, not as bad as it seems. Yeah. Like, when you listen to, like, <laughs> Bruno Mars' music, talk about all this money he has and all the cars he can buy you. Basically. Come on, Bruno Mars. I need more context. <laughs> where's, where's the meaning? Where's the passion? Not there. But yeah, uh... Oh, follow-up question. Do we care about the Billboard Hot 100? I know we just went on a whole mm. rant about how she's as cool as she went top three, but do we care? 
Um, not really. Yeah, me neither. I don't even know what they count because they still count streams. They count airplay sales. sales. Yeah. yeah, there was there was that whole thing with Taylor Swift when she dropped her project. Uh, you hear about it? Oh, it was a while back. Nah, yeah, tell me about it. Um, so according to Everyday Struggle and Joe Budden, what they did was count the sales from her concert as album sales. Is this when uh who else got mad about this? Nicki Minaj got cheesed about Travis Scott beating her album. Yeah, because probably, he got it's probably the same thing. He got merch, he got tour, yeah, streams, yeah. So all that other nonsense. with all this, this is this is going like over our heads, and we don't care about it. For us, the song is bumping. Give the me song, music. Yeah, Give the song is bumping. The song is bumping. We, uh, I know it's other people's. It's other people's job to worry about the money, not yeah. ours. For the consumer, we're the consumer. You, when you pay, when you pay for some music, you just want to enjoy the music. Or maybe people are looking for. Maybe people care about that. I don't know. Not us though. Yeah. Give me my Spotify nine ninety nine a month, unlimited. <laughs> unlimited. No ads. Un- <laughs> Shout Spotify premium. Hearing about those ads is kind of like damn. Yeah. Whatever. That's it's so off putting, right? When you're like, you gotta wait like thirty seconds. You skip a song and there's an ad. Like, what is that? <laughs> you gotta listen to. That's wild though. I never got that. Like, let's say you. It's tr- it's a free. That's wild. yeah, but yo, that's a lot of data, bro. You're not yeah. allowed to save music. You have to play it all on data. Wait, you can't save that? No, not on Spotify. Know. Pre, not on spot the regular one. You have to stream it. Bro, that's data. Damn. <laughs> that's data. I uh, I go back to downloading my stuff yeah, illegally. You, you, YouTube converter. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube convert, or you just search up on uh, Media Fire, yeah, <laughs> the zip file for the <laughs> album, and you're straight, yo. Uh, yeah, I mean, Ariana I Grande is on a tear. Can anyone stop her? Probably not. Um, May oh, I'm really excited for hopefully Bruno Mars drops album. You know who else should be dropping an album? Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me about Drake yeah, right now. Yo, he won a Grammy. Let me go like one, <laughs> one day. Yo. I'm not talking about Drake. Yo, he's... It, yo, shut I like the speech at the Grammys though. Not gonna lie. It makes sense. We spin facts. Like, you don't need validation from these people and an award. But he won the award. Yeah. So was, Apparently, they cut him off. But I watched the speech. And like, they cut him off. He really? was He was about to continue, but then... They play the music. They uh, cut to commercial. Ooh, I, maybe that went. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, who I'm looking forward to drop an album this year. It's been two two years since Flower Boy dropped. Ooh, shout out to Tyler. Shout out to Audrey. Maybe a Wang Sap. Oh. Um. Give me that. Yeah, you think? Yeah, has it been two years? Yeah, it's been Flower two years. Boys. Been a minute. It's been a minute. He's well. Did he go on tour? He did go on tour last year. Oh yeah, so I wanted to go to that show. Should have went, bro. Here, did you go? Yes. Did greatest, you? greatest tour. It happened like uh, it was around February. It was around Valentine's Day last year too. So like, did he have the whole flower stage and all that? Yes. Damn, that must have been lit. Great album. Here's my thing. I'm not gonna lie. When it first came out, I kind of slipped up. <laughs> I did too. Until <laughs> you- I played it on uh on like speakers. And I was like, damn, yeah. this, you this gotta, shit, bang. You gotta let that baby marinate for a minute. And unfortunately, the, the, the thing came too late. Here's my thing. Your boy has never been to a concert before. so That should have been your first one. So, like, I don't get the appeal of <laughs> going to a concert. But, you know, I get I get why people want to go. It's like, it's like going to, like, a convention. It's all like-minded people yeah. gathered into one room. And everyone You're has the same life. Yeah. So I get that, um, but yeah, we I slept on it, bro. <laughs> the only but I remember the first month when it came out, like the, I was like, yo, the only good song is like "See You Again," bro. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even messing with "See You Again" the yeah. first time. I it was just like the one with ASAP. <laughs> Basically, I was like, this isn't it. This ain't it, cheap. And then yo, I miss Cherry Bomb. <laughs> I miss Wolf. What was really good too? It was really good, but it's not Touch of Flower Boy. Nah, nothing's Touch of Flower Boy. In hindsight, sorry. nothing, no, no project was Touch of Flower. I'm Flower sorry. Boy. I'm a. That's that. You needed that was a fine wine, that needed to age. Yeah. And once it got time, it was like a. It was like blonde to me. Blonde, I slept on. I don't care about. I don't care about blonde. Damn, bro. 
Nah, care. yo. I don't care about Blonde that. is amazing. Yeah? Yeah. You gotta go back to it. You gotta facts? revisit that. I mean, Beautiful. maybe. But like, oh, I'm kind of like over Frank. Over Frank? Did you listen yeah. to Endless though? Me, Did you, you ever listen to Endless? No. Then you that's, gotta, that's probably why. I'm, 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 your boy's lacking on me. I'm slacking. You're only listening to Channel Orange and Nostalgia Ultra. I don't Ultra. even listen to that anymore. Chill, bro. Uh, I don't even remember Nostalgia Ultra. The only one I remember is Orange and whatever features he was on. Analog 2. <laughs> uh, what's the song? He oldie. Did? Yeah, I was going to say Oldie. <laughs> she? Ryan, she was in What's that song? Oh, I forgot. I lost the first. But, uh, yeah. No um, more albums to... Yeah, I guess we'll end it with, uh, what are you looking for? Uh, any albums caught your eye lately? I'm starting to pick up all the albums I missed in 2018. When is Kanye dropping his album? <laughs> what happened to that one? Yandi. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. I just want him to diss everyone again. Yo, <laughs> my favorite thing is when he was like, when he had it with, um, Travis Scott, he was like, yo, no checks over strengths on this album. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. Like, damn. He actually said that? Yeah. Well, he just like, he tweeted it and it was like, yo, you won't be hearing any of that. I guess. Like, yeah, Kanye, man. I thought you wanted him to get the bang. You know? Who else do I want an album from? Travis Scott's not going to drop anything. It's too early. Nah, Travis should not. That's, he's still he going got, on tour yeah, for that. He got a ball out on this tour. Um, Steve Lacey. Who? Steve Lacey from the <laughs> internet. Oh. So who's that? The album, uh, the singer, the he's guitarist. A singer. He's a guitarist. And he also sings? Yeah. He dropped a demo a few years ago and he said he's done his uh his album. So I guess it's just getting mastered. Oh Schoolboy Q. Oh, that's been that's, that's been more than a minute. That's been pushed back a long time. Oh, it's coming a, like it was like done, but then when Mac passed, he like he was like, we nah, we gotta push it back. Shout out to Matt Miller, R.I.P. He had a huge influence, or he had a huge impact on the yeah on the music industry. Shout out to that uh that concert, the concert that they did for him. Oh yeah, when it had like everyone in his song. Even though like <laughs> I I was watching the stream, it was a pretty bad stream. <laughs> but I'm not hating, you know, whatever. It's all for a good, a good cause. yeah, all for a good cause. But uh, yeah, um, let us know what you're listening to. I guess yeah. let us know if you care about Billboard Hot huh, 100. Mm. Um, we'll see. Apparently, like, here's my thing. All right, let me break it down for a little bit before we end it. Hold on, about Drake. No, it's not about Drake. Okay. Um, I think what 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 killed it for me about the Bill War Hot 100, like I love him. I love some of his music, but yo, six nine, he like I like it made me not care anymore. I he never was like, really messed with him. He was like val. He was like validating everything he's ever done through the Bill War Hot 100. I'm like, but. Like, not everyone likes the music. There are a lot of people that are turned off by it, right? The violent, yelling. <laughs> this guy snitched on everyone. <laughs> and now he's in witness protection program. But. That's crazy. I, okay. Just a quick question. Quick quick aside. And not, so we don't get too deep. And then into, we'll and then wrap we'll it end, up. Yeah. Uh, if you had a choice, would you snitch? I have no idea. Yeah. there's I a can't. There's a lot of circumstances. Now, according. I'm going to. Quickly, according to him, they uh, he they got with his baby moms. They snitched on. Him, they extorted money from him, whatever. Oh, okay. So that's why he did. It. He was like, "F y'all, y'all are not making money off me. And if y'all are gonna take money from me, then I'm bringing you down with me." Yeah. That's pretty much how it went, how it went down. According to him, we don't know if that's true or whatever. Yeah. But hey, man, that seems like a pretty good reason for me to say, "Hey, I was snitched too." You know what's crazy? If he goes into a witness protection program. He has to change his whole look. He has to dye his hair. Cover he has up to the tats. Cover up the tats. Like, bruh, those are... He has so many Yo, just six fly, nines just, over his body. Just fly that boy to, like, uh, bring in Chile or Mexico. Back Throw to him in the mountains or something. Yeah, you, can't, you can't go anywhere, bro. You gotta go to, like... <laughs> what's, what's a pretty, like, uncultured place? Some random uh, town in North Carolina or North Dakota. He can't go to the U.S., yo. He has to... I mean, they have to keep in the yeah. U.S. They can, no one's gonna take him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's mad. Yeah, keep him in like North Dakota, where there's like in a well knit community. <laughs> Throw him in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Throw him in Hawaii, yeah, technically, right? Yeah. Go, no, what the gangster's gonna go out to Hawaii? 
They yeah. go fly. They go make the trip. They yeah, go fly yeah. out to Alaska where it's cold every day. People don't know the struggle of winter time, bro. Yeah. Well, I guess he does. He's from Brooklyn. Yeah. They experience, experience winter. So, um, but yeah, um, I guess that's where we'll wrap it up. Episode one. Episode one. In the books. Of Word Around the Couch. The Couch Warmers podcast. Now, uh, we don't know what platform it's going to be on. It's going to be on YouTube for sure. SoundCloud? Uh, SoundCloud? I do. <laughs> Apple? We got to see We gotta see it from there. We got to learn these uh, export settings and Apple's <laughs> Apple's distribution rights. No, we don't care about that. We just want it to be out. Yeah. Um, but it'll definitely be on YouTube with video format. If, if you, you want guys to it, you were just looking at each other. But I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm not even looking at him. I'm looking at the camera, bro, or something. Oh, I'm my look, bad. I'm looking at the camera stand. You're looking at me. I was I'm, locking I'm, eyes with you wow. still and the camera. You, it was a moment, huh? This is the moment. A mark in history. Yeah. <laughs> the mark in history. But, um, yeah. Hopefully there's more coming. Hopefully we can get some people on here, maybe. Hopefully. Once we start... Learn how to do this stuff. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share with your friends. Comment. Do all yeah, that. Comment stuff. Yeah. Join a discussion. We're here to discuss. We're here to talk about the culture. What is the culture? We need a new word for this. We're here the, to talk the culture. about the... Culture? That, has, that needs to go. Give me a new word. What's the synonym for know. culture? Oh, I'm breaking the third wall. Fourth wall. Yeah. Culture, culture, culture goes. Culture, 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 culture. I got you. Hold on. Let, let Google do its thing. What could it be? Thesaurus.com says synonym for. What? There's no other word for culture. Let me just look at it. Synonym Lifestyle. for culture is no. perception. Perception? That's pretty good. Cultivation. <laughs> that's pretty much culture. I'm not buying that one. No, uh, that's those two words. <laughs> urbanity. <laughs> yeah, there's no other word for culture. We just gotta ban that word because I can't stand that. But word. what? Did we come on. The <laughs> the grace. <laughs> Yo, lately I've been running out of my pa- my patience has run out with uh everything with social media and like yeah he's going full her- hermit mode basically because I can't higher education. Higher education. Er- erudition. That's word for higher education. What is it? So, er- erudition. Erudition. Peep that. Peep that. Erudition. So we're here at Word Around the Couch to talk about the erudition. <laughs> of, oh. <laughs> the, erud- <laughs> the erudition of fashion, Society. music, streetwear, pop culture. Yeah. Damn culture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pop society. <laughs> Put that in the tagline, bro. That's a long <laughs> tagline. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Episode one is in the books. And uh, I guess we'll see y'all on the other two. side. This is going to come out weekly, hopefully. <laughs> weekly? Yeah. I mean, uh, you want to do week? No, we'll see. Yeah. Shout out to uh, school. <laughs> All right. Remember, Later. do it for the erudition. Later, friends. And.